Hello everyone, welcome back to Paleocraft. Thank you again CompyCraft for giving me early access to be able to play this DLC. As you can tell by my previous one, we didn't really know all that much to do about the game because I haven't played this game in many many years is safe to say. But I thought you know I'd showcase all of the dinosaurs because as you can see there are plenty of dinosaurs, 100 species. Obviously in here we do actually have uh, some vehicles as well which we're not going to showcase. We'll probably do that in another video if everybody wants to see that. Uh, modified species, actually 103 species, Spinosaurus, Trudon and Velociraptor. Can't wait to see those. However, let's uh, let's start up with the uh, the natural species. So we have a Kilobeta, we have Acrocanthosaurus, Albertosaurus, Allosaurus, Amargosaurus, Ammonite, Ankylosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Archaeopteryx that we'll start off with. So we'll go over here and uh, spawn the Achillobeta, which I believe I just do that. Ooh, really nice model. May I just say these models are actually really really good. Okay, they're, they're a lot bigger now. <laughs> they're a lot bigger. Reminds me of the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors. Yeah, it does, it does seem that way. Next up, we have Acrocanthosaurus. I'm pretty sure these dinosaurs will fight. But, uh, let's load one in. Oh, wow. That's a that's a big boy. And it is. It seems like it's chasing the, uh, the other ones and it's attacking it. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Place down another one. Yeah, it seems like they have the same skin. Uh, well, Albertosaurus is coming out next. So hopefully it's able to fight off. Okay, that's pretty cool. It seems like they're fighting a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't expect the Albertosaurus to win. Next up, Allosaurus, which this bugger always gives me grief in survival. And just took him down with ease. Next up is Amargosaurus. A nice little sauropod right here. I really like how they've really taken the texture of the, uh, the head. Or the neck, shall I say. Really, really cool. Well done on that model. Uh, next up is Ammonite, which I'm pretty sure I should put in water. But <laughs> here it is. Let's just spawn a few more. Why the hell not? They're, they're, when they're not in the water, they're basically just decoration right now, aren't they? There you go. Next up, we have Ankylosaurus. Ooh, you're a big boy. You're huge. Let's put down another really nice model. Although it seems like they're dying out because they're not in water. Nice. Ah, oh, we've got one survivor. Never mind. Next up we have a sauropod, which is... Ang oh, okay. I mean, it, I was getting ready. Why, why are they all small? A patasaurus. There we go. Okay, all of a sudden there's two big ones. But yes, that's a patasaurus. And uh, then we have Archaeopteryx. We'll spawn on the tree. Why not? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I really like the Archaeopteryx. A three-headed Archaeopteryx. Oh my god. Oh, they fly. They, wait, they don't fly. Flight? Fly. <laughs> I believe uh, Archaeopteryx actually glides. Next up we have the Baryonyx, Belemite, Barachosaurus, Camarasaurus, Cocarodontosaurus, Carnotaurus, Ceratosaurus, Chasmosaurus, and Chileosaurus. Chile Chileosaurus, I think that's how you say it. Uh, let's, let's pop up here. We're going to start off with the Baryonyx. Ooh, movie accurate. Is it movie accurate? I think it is. It's pretty cool, to be honest. I really like the design of it. Next up is Bellum Bellumite, which I've never actually seen before. Never heard of. Ah, no, I know what they are. <laughs> I know what they are now. They'll slowly die. Another sauropod, Brachiosaurus. Ooh, whoa, you are a big boy, aren't you? Wow, really like it. Uh, Camarasaurus is up next, another sauropod. A lot smaller, to say the least. Can I get, can I get a big one? There we go. Now that's a Camarasaurus. <laughs> And then we have Cacarodontosaurus. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I really like that one. Is it going to attack the Kamara? It is attacking the Kamara. Oh, no. Oh, wow. It's, it's fighting back. Who's going to win? Well, I mean, all the sauropods are attacking it now. <laughs> We're just going to let them do their own thing. Carnotaurus. Hey, buddy. It's Toro. It is Toro from Camp Cretaceous. Oh, it's killing the baby. <laughs> Ceratosaurus joining on the action. Oh wow, the Carno really wants to kill everything. Uh, Chasmosaurus, can you challenge it? Beautiful Chasmosaurus. Oh wow, the Carno's still going. What about Chileosaurus? Of course it's not going to be able to. Oh, nice. Turkeys, attack! Okay, the final few here we have Coelacanth, Compi, Concavenator, Corythosaurus, Cryolophosaurus, Darwinlinus, don't know what that is, and Despletosaurus. We'll carry on from here as well. 
so we have Deinonychus and also Deinosuchus joining us. So we'll start off with Deinosuchus because we have water right here. There you go, there's, there's the crocodilian for you. Pretty much got his head stuck in the wall. <laughs> really cool crocodilian. I really like it. Next up we have Coelacanth, which is also an aquatic reptile. Not bad. Not bad. I, I quite like it, to be honest. I really like it. Next up is Compi, which we know is definitely not aquatic, so we'll put the little buggers here. <gasps> They're so cute. And now if we attack one, will they all attack me? Oh, no, they all just look at me. Nice. Concavenate is up next. One of my favourite dinosaurs, to be honest. I really love the look of it. It's a really, really nice design as well. Will the compies scatter away from it, though? Next up, Corythosaurus. That's the Corythosaurus I love. Looks like it has a watermelon on its crest. Where are you? There you go. Yeah, watermelon. <laughs> next up is Cryolophosaurus, another favourite of mine, which doesn't want to spawn for some reason. Oh, wow. I mean, that came out of nowhere. I didn't expect any of that. <laughs> There's a bunch of Uh I don't know why. Okay, I think my game's kind of lagging a little bit, maybe. So we're just going to go over here for Darwin in this. I don't know. I don't know what the hell this is. What is it? Come on, spawn in. Spawn in. Oh, they're tiny. They're little bugs. I think the music is a bit too dramatic for what type of creatures these are. Yeah, they're tiny, tiny. Next up is the Spletosaurus. Join the party, my friend. Yeah, take your time spawning in. <laughs> There's the Spletosaurus for you. Absolutely beautiful model. I love it. And uh, we'll do Deinonychus as well. We'll pop over here and do Deinonychus. Seems like they're taking a while to spawn in now. Uh, oh, there we go. We got one spawned in. There we go. That's better. That's better. So, yeah. <laughs> here are the Deinonychus. Seems like we have the Delphodon next. Uh, Dilophosaurus, Dimorphodon, Guianosynchinidia. Don't know how to say that. Dryosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Elasmosaurus, uh, Epidexteryx, something like that. <laughs> and Gallimimus. So we'll take these guys over as well. My game seems to ha have quite a difficulty, as you can see. I don't know why. My, my game's kind of crashing a little bit. Not entirely sure why. Uh, let's just hope it doesn't actually crash. But here's uh, the Del Foden. <gasps> that's the little buggers I was killing. No, I don't like you guys at all. And that's the whole reason why. They're incredibly loud. Dilophosaurus. That's what we like to see. I believe we can get a... Ooh, Baryonyx is there. A huge one. There we go. That's the big one. Uh, Dimorphodon. Flying Reptile. Absolutely love him. Go ahead. Go crazy. Can we fly to them? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Next up is Guyanenshendia. Don't know how to say that. I'm so glad that I was able to put it there. <laughs> it seems like it's a little dragonfly type of thing. And it actually seems like Dimorphodon att attacked it. Wow, okay. Next up is Dryosaurus, which should go down here. Aw, aw. Really? Really, dude? Next up, Edmontosaurus. Let's hope it's a different story. Seems like the Jurassic World Edmontosaurus. Really, really cool. Oh, it's killed the Dilophosaurus. Oh, RIP to your mum right there. Next up is Elasmosaurus, which is aquatic. So I believe there's an aquatic section over here, right? Yes, we'll put the Elasmosaurus in here. So here is the Elasmosaurus, a long neck boy. Basically similar to the Plesiosaurus. Epidetrix, I think, is a flying reptile, so we'll place it here. Nope, it seems like it's an actual dinosaur. Rap Raptors, Dromaeosaurid some type. There we go. They're cute. And Gallimimus, obviously. We know what it is. A beautiful galley. I underestimated how long this video is going to take. So here's the Giga, the Gonopholius, Herrerasaurus, Huangosaurus, Hybodus, uh, Hypsilophodon, uh, Ichthyosaurus, Iguanodon, Kentrosaurus, and then we've got Lalinosaurus, Leptoceratops, Lyplurodon, uh, Ludodactylus, and uh, Majungasaurus left to go. So we'll start off with my all-time favourite dinosaur, probably going to take on the Acro right here. And this is the Giga. And this is the Giga. And this is the Giga. Nope, doesn't doesn't seem like the Giga wants to uh, wants to spawn at all. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay, this obviously is a tiny Giga. Let's try and get a bigger one. That's better. That's more like a Giga. Right there. Goniofolius is the next one. Ah, so it's a crocodilian. Lovely. Herrerasaurus. Ooh, I love the skin of that. 
Hoangosaurus. Nice one. Uh, Hybodus. Okay, so you're basically a Megalodon. <laughs> Hypsilophodon. Come on, I know you want to spawn. There we go. Oh, you're basically the Dryosaurus. Uh, Ichthyosaurus. Come on, I know you're aquatic, but I can surely spawn you here. There we go. We'll spawn loads of you at one time. Iguanodon, which we saw in the gameplay. And Kentrosaurus, similar to the Hwangosaurus. There it is. So we have a Leninosaurus, a Leptoceratops, Lyplurodon, Ludodactylus, and Majungosaurus. Next up we have Metriacanthosaurus, Microceratus, Mosasaurus, uh, Bermaculix. I had never heard of that one before, so it's going to be interesting. So first up is Lelinosaurus. I don't know how to pronounce it, I've seen it before, and uh, it's a little cutie. Uh, Leptoceratops. It's like a Proceratosaurus, Proceratosaurus, Protoceratops. Uh, Lyplurodon, an aquatic reptile, probably should be a lot bigger than that, so that's a baby you've spawned in. Uh, Ludodactylus, a flying reptile, as it goes. See you later. Uh, Majungasaurus. Okay, now it's running. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> there goes the... Oh no! Really? Okay, now Lyplurodon's dying. Uh, but that's Majunga. Metri. Metri versus Majunga, question uh, mark. Microceratus. Two of them right there. Oh dear. R.I.P. Uh, Mosasaurus. Big boy? No. That's the big boy. Next up is uh, Burmaculix. Never heard of it. And that's why I've never heard of it. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny insect. Here we have Mutabarosaurus, Nasutoceratops, Notolops, uh, Onof Onchopristis, uh, Omphalomosaurus, <laughs> Ornithalestes, Ornithomimus, Oranosaurus, and Oviraptor. Here we go with the Mutabarosaurus. I said the Mutabarosaurus. Come on, give me Mutabarosaurus. Why is there a Utyrannus there? Well, that's the Utyrannus. So, yeah, <laughs> probably gonna save my time with that, but that's Utyrannus. Mutabarosaurus should be spawning over here. I don't know why it's not. There we go. We finally have some now. Uh, Nasutoceratops. Nice little cutie. Uh, Nautilops. An aquatic reptile. Uh, Onchopristis. Ah, now I know what it is. Uh, Ophalomosaurus. Another aquatic. Ornithalestes. Ornithomimus. Oranosaurus. I like that. And then Oviraptor. Still some eggs, buddies. Go. Next up is Pachycephalosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Placerius, Plesiosaurus, Pliosaurus, Polycanthus, Proceratosaurus, and Protoceratops. I am very surprised that these things are still alive, to be honest. Here's the Pachycephalosaurus. Come on. Come on, somebody somebody has to spawn. Sooner rather than later. Okay, well, I was, <laughs> I was playing around and now there's loads of Pachycephalosauruses all of a sudden. I don't know why. Here's Pachyrhinosaurus. Here's Parasaurolophus. Here's Placerius. Here's Plesiosaurus, should be in the water. Uh, Pliosaurus, should also be in the water. Polycanthus. Proceratosaurus. And Protoceratops. Next up is Cetacosaurus, Pteranodon, and Pterodactylus. Then we also have uh, Repomemus, uh, Ramphonicus, Rigops, Sarcosuchus, Saurophaganax, and Segisaurus. Then we've got a few more to come, and then uh, we've got the the other species here, the modified species. So I placed down this Attackosaurus. We're probably going to have to leave it so the dinosaurs can uh, hunt them down, I guess. If they want to spawn in, that is. There we go. Finally, they spawned in. Does seem like the Albetosaurus has taken it. Uh, here's Pteranodon. If it wants to spawn in. There we go. <laughs> Fly to the skies. Pterodactylus, similar to Pteranodon. Uh, Repromamus. Basically, Lystrosaurus, I guess. Uh, Bramphronychus, another flying reptile. That's what I'm looking for. Rugops. There we go. I really like the Rugops. I really, really like the Rugops. And the Albertosaurus decimated them. Uh, next up is uh, Sarcosuchus. Another crocodilian. But it's, it seems like it's going to take on the Rugops. Then we have Saurophaganax. It's getting a bit busy and loud here as well. And then Segisaurus, a tiny one. You should be in Jurassic Park. Next up is Cynoceratops, Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Struthiomimus, Stigimolox, Thyracosaurus, Suchomimus, Tupandactylus, and Therizinosaurus. Okay, we're going to place the Cynoceratops over here. Okay, I was playing around, and <laughs> now all of a sudden they've spawned in. Uh, then we have Spinosaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs. 
Seems like we've got a uh, an accurate Spinosaurus as well, with the uh, the humps on its back and uh, the swimming tail. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. Next up is a uh, Stegosaurus. Got a few of them to take on the Spinosaurus. Using their tails wins it. Uh, Shufamimus is up next. Then we got Stiggy Moloch or Stiggy Moloch. Styracosaurus. Sucomimus. A baby Sucomimus. Still pretty cool. Tupandactylus. Fly away, buddy. Fly away. Uh, Therizinosaurus. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm not going to give you a hug. Now we're getting into the final sections here with Triceratops, Truodon, uh, Tropiognathus, I think that's how you say it. Sintausaurus, Tylosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Utahraptor, Velociraptor, and Utahranus. Actually, tell you what, we've already seen the Utahranus. So personally, I don't think we actually uh, need to see it, so... We'll, uh, we'll put in this dinosaur here, which is the Xenunotaurus. I don't know how to say that either. So it's spawning in the trike. Again, if it wants to spawn in, doesn't have to. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got a Triceratops. Uh, then we've got Truodon. Absolutely love Truodon. Oh, really big eyes right there. Uh, Tropfinaphus. As I thought, flying reptile, fly away. Uh, Sintausaurus. Nice little baby one right there. That's better. Uh, Tylosaurus, an aquatic. Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is where the fun begins, to say the least. There we go. Now take on the trike. Or the trike's going to take on you. Nice one. <laughs> Utah Raptor, up next. Quite a big boy walking with dinosaur skin by the looks of it. That T-Rex is way too loud. I'm going to move away. Then we have a Velociraptor. Seems like a uh, an accurate Velociraptor. Not like the Utah Raptor we have here. Complete difference, as you can see. Complete difference. Oh, Utah wins. <laughs> and then Zen 1 Nopterix, which I believe, yeah, yeah, it's a flying reptile. So next up we have, those are all the 100 species that is, and uh, I believe next up we do actually have three modified species. So there's 103 species in this one DLC, which is absolutely amazing if you were to ask me. So the modified species are the Spinosaurus, the Truodon, and the Velociraptor. So we'll go over a similar place to where the Velociraptor was so we can compare the raptors, although they died off. <laughs> so here is the uh, the Spinosaurus Giganticus. Ah, so instead of uh, an accurate one, it's a movie representi representative, that shall I say, <laughs> of, uh, of the Spinosaurus. Next up we have Truodon Diablus, which, oh wow. Really? You have to be that loud? And you killed a Truodon? Hey, I wasn't done looking at the Truodon. Here we go. That's a pretty cool Truodon, if you were to ask me. Can you not, please? Okay, next up is Velociraptor right here. And, yep, movie accurate, basically. We're going to spawn loads of them and let the Spinosaurus deal with it. There we go. We're going to cause chaos. Chaos can unfold. We're just going to leave whatever that is over there there you go it's uh, it's gone out of rendering um but yeah those are all of the uh, the species i'm surprised the mose is still alive to be honest uh plenty of species 103 of them actually uh you can find these once you download the dlc from the store which i believe i'll have a link to in the description down below so if you want to check out the biggest dinosaur dlc in minecraft do go down to the description down below and uh, hopefully you enjoy it because i've definitely had a lot of fun with it uh probably have a few more videos if people well, want it a lot more often. Seems like this, uh, this Truodon's drowning. Nice one, lad. Uh, but anyways, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, why not smash that like button? Check out CompyCraft in the description down below. And also, if you are new around here and you like Minecraft or you like Jurassic World or anything to do with dinosaurs, you can bet I'll be making videos on those. So press that subscribe button. In the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.